Hello and welcome. Today we're back with a brand new product from Cricut. Yes, another one. This time it's Cricut Iron On Designs. So the Iron On Designs come in a huge variety of patterns and designs. I have just a few of them here. I'm going to show you a few more in this video, but there are tons on the Cricut website that you will definitely want to check out. These you can use without even the use of a machine. So if you're looking for projects you can create in five, ten minutes, really simply, really inexpensively, with no Cricut machine, just your iron or Cricut Easy Press, these iron on designs are for you. So let's get started. So here we're going to put the iron on designs onto wood. I have my Cricut Easy Press heating up. Now, the time and temperature on the Easy Press is going to depend on your surface as well as your material. So you'll want to look it up on the Cricut website and look up iron on designs as well as wood. At the time of this video, they had not developed specific settings for the wood. So I kind of looked at the settings for the other materials and came up with one of my own. This is a very rustic wood piece. So it's a log slice, which I love. If you are at all into rustic decor, this is definitely something to consider. Now, what I want to do is balance this up and that'll be my bottom. So that means this is the bottom and I want to orient my design accordingly. Now, the iron-on designs are completely ready to use. right out of the package. As you saw on at the first of this video, there's a wide variety of designs. I'm going to use this one on the wood slice, but there's a wide variety that you can choose from. And in this case, it's so much easier than cutting it out with the Cricut as I wouldn't have to weed all these small areas. So I'm just going to position it how I think it looks best, and then we're going to apply the Easy Press. I applied the Easy Press right to the wood, hit the green button to start, and I'm pressing it down firmly for the entire time. The temperature will change, note, while you're pressing. Now, once it beeps and it's ready, you just move it to the side, and your iron-on design should be transferred to the wood. Now, the iron-on designs are a cold peel, so you want to let this cool completely before you actually peel back the liner sheet. After that cools, just peel back to reveal your design. Then you can use this right in your home decor. Alright, so we made this cute wood decor in the video, but I have so many more projects to show you. You'll want to be sure to head to thecountrysheetcottage.net for even more projects. I have been playing with these iron-on designs. I've been putting them on pillow covers. I've been playing with burlap and the iron-on designs. I've been playing with paper and iron on and even a tote bag. So, so many possibilities with the Cricut iron on designs. You'll want to head to thecountrysheetcottage.net, see the rest of these projects finished and all together and then head out to your local craft store, pick up some of these iron on designs of your own, make great crafts on a variety of surfaces. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. Be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't want to miss Anything Cricket or anything crafty.